This video is the first in a series of two that will explain how my bidirectional station works. I showed that station in a previous video and uh, people have been asking about it. This first video will explain about the signals and the next video will explain about the turnouts. Um, imagine a picture yourself a station with three tracks. Track 1, 2 and 3. Um, each track has a contact piece in the middle and a signal. Contact piece, signal, contact piece, signal. And each signal controls an isolated stop section in either end. Here's the left part and over here will be the right stop section. Um, at any one time only one track in the station will be empty and on green and the others will be occupied and on red. And when a train approaches the turnout magic will make sure that it's guided into the empty track. In this case it will be track 2 because that's the green one. Um, the train will make it across the stop section because it's powered because the signal is green and it will enter the contact piece where it will set its own signal to red and the neighboring signal, the next signal in the sequence to green like this. Watch as this contact track sets this signal to red and this one to green like this. thereby releasing the waiting train in track 3. The approaching train in track 2 will stop at the end because its signal is now on red and the train in track 3 will leave the station. The next time a train approaches the turnout magic will again make sure it enters the empty track which is now track 3. It will make it across the power section because the signal is on green and it will trip the contact track which will set its own signal to red and then neighboring the next one, track 1 to green, like this. Red and green. This little wire is there to make sure that the contact piece works the same in both directions. This is uh, one of the tricks that make the uh, station bi-directional. I think you've got the system now. Um, every uh, contact track sets its own signal to red and the next signal to green, like this. And that's what makes the train run the trains run in sequence. The next video will explain about the turnouts.